my name is Electra and we're going to be learning how to make these um, shrink plastic earrings today. In order to make these earrings, you are going to need shrink plastic. Looks like this. If you just look up shrink plastic, you can find it sold in packets. Um, you will need Sharpies in order to draw the image that you want to turn into um, a piece of jewelry, some scissors, a uh, gold chain or whatever color chain you want, um, earring hooks that go in your ear, some hoops that will connect to the holes that you make, pliers that also have like a wire cutter element to it, and then it's not pictured here, but you will need um, like an oven or even a toaster oven will work, parchment paper in order to bake that on, and you also need a hole punch, so don't forget your hole punch. The nice thing about shrink plastic is you can pretty much do anything that you want. Um, the rule of thumb is that you want to draw your um, picture three times larger than how you actually expect it to be, which is why I've, um, I have have the earrings here. And so here's a comparison between the two sizes. You need to make sure that before you bake your items that you use a hole punch to cut a hole into it because the shrink plastic will shrink and become thicker and much harder and you will be left with this and there is no way that you can you will probably have anything that can punch a hole through this. Once you're happy with your design you are going to make sure that you cut that hole in order to attach the metal jewelry pieces later and then you're going to take parchment paper do not use any other kind of paper just use parchment paper cut it to fit the size of your tray and then you're going to put your two I your items on it you want to make sure that they're all separated because it can melt and stick you need to set your temperature to between 300 and 350 degrees and then it'll take less than a minute for your um, shrink plastic to shrink and become hard. Now I'm going to add the shrink plastic to the toaster oven. Make sure you have an oven mitt or something so that you can remove it when it's done. As you can see through the dirty toaster oven lid that I did try to clean, um, they will shrink and kind of curl up, but just wait, it'll flatten back down. Done cooking, they should look like this. If you find that they've curled up um, while they're still hot, you can push them back down to flatten them. After you've put all the pieces together, this is what you should be left with.